Hey everyone, got a M1 MacBook Air here that has uh, a couple of sticky keys over in this area. Um, you can probably hear it here, I'll click this one. Makes like a loud snap, which a good key sounds like this. It's silent. But over here you'll hear it. So what you'll do is, is here you'll you know take a tool like this. Um, it's just pretty useful. Uh, for this type of stuff, it's really thin and it's easy to get uh, under the, you know, the key between the key and the frame and pry. So the the thing to keep in mind is when you're using this, you do not uh, pry hard. If you feel any sort of resistance, do not, um, you know, try to force it because you will break things. So just remember to be delicate and, um, you know, just be careful. So here, this key. For example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the tool underneath this corner here and just lightly pry up a little bit, just barely putting the tip in here, and then I'm going to twist it. You'll hear a pop. Just gotta kind of work at it. There it went. Do you hear that little snap? So that snap is the little uh, mechanism or the little uh, connector. It's kind of like a little Lego, and it it connects to the key. And so you do that again for the other side, and just pry. Don't pry hard. So there's the second snap. Now you see how the key is is kind of kicked up here on the back and it's pushed down here so now what I like to do is just get some tweezers don't shove the tweezers in there hard you know use plastic tweezers if you can it's probably better to use these that have plastic tips so reach under the key here grab onto it and pull downward just like this and so now we have that key off. So if you look here, so the key goes like this. You notice that there is, I'll point it out to you. There is a clip here and a clip there. It's actually like a little hook, uh, honestly. And your actual clips are here and here. And these are what I was telling you that you, whenever you're prying on this bottom part, you're actually trying to make these disconnect right here. And all they are is like little snaps. So once you put the tool under there and you kind of pry up on this a little bit, these will kind of pop loose. And once these pop loose, then you'll pull the key towards uh, the trackpad or towards yourself and it will unhook these. Do not try to pry in this area because these are not like snaps. These are actually like little uh, hooks that hold it in place. So if you pull, if you pry up on the top of the key here, you will break these and the key will no longer like sit uh, flush like, like it did before. It, you know, it could kick up or whenever you're typing it, it's not going to hold it down. Um, so just, you know, that's the way you should take it out. You should pry along the bottom side on the left and the right until you hear a click. Um, and then after you hear two clicks, you just get a pair of, um, tweezers or something um, you know I prefer these that have plastic tips so you know you can't short anything and just grab the key and pull it this way and it'll come out so now that that's out of the way the next thing that we need to get out is the actual uh, butterfly mechanism down here so uh, if you look here I can kind of pick up on it and you can kind of see um, maybe I can get it a little closer here. Maybe you can see. So there is more clips down in here that you have to pay attention to. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but down here, there is a, a little plastic nub. And then over here, there's a little plastic nub. And what you want to do is, um, get a, um, you know, another pair of tweezers, so you do kind of need a finer tip 
uh, tweezer here. So just use caution. And what you need to do is um, you will get down here where this little nub is and you'll pry up on it. until it clicks like that. So see how this piece here now is um, up. And so now I'm gonna repeat on the other side. Okay, all right. So now both sides are released here. And after that's released, um, the key mechanism should come out. Just grab it with your tweezers, just like that. Let's see, here's the, the key mechanism. Right there. Actually, that flipped over. So, now that you have that out, what you want to do is um, clean this. Clean this part right here. So, take a little um, isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip and just clean this really well. So what you'll do is you'll just, you know, cover the whole area with IPA. Um, just give it a good douse. And clean all surfaces, you know, make sure all surfaces have been wiped. Because if anything, any sort of liquid or sticky residue got down in here, uh, this is what's going to make the key um, be kind of noisy whenever you click it. And so, you want to make sure that this part's really clean, okay? So I think that's pretty good. The uh, other thing that I like to get down in here is I like to do just a little wipe. I don't like to get a ton of alcohol down in here, I just wipe down the little dimple for the key and just kind of clean it up some to make sure there's no sticky residue in there. If you look here, down in there is um, the little clips and stuff and then that, that little um, rubber dimple there in the middle is actually what registers the, the key click. So, after that, the next thing you do is put it back together. So, you got to remember the orientation that you took this out, because that's very important. Um, because if you don't take it out, or if you put it back the, the wrong way, it's not going to work right, and you can break it. So, um, it's hard to tell, but down inside here, there's, there's two little metal um, slots. There's a little uh, slot right here and a little metal slot here, and it's part of one of the retainers. But if you look at this right here, your um, plastic piece that goes in there has a little slot here as well, and there are long slots. And then on this end, you have short, smaller slots. So the idea is you want to align those slots up with how it's laid out in here, and that's kind of another way to determine if you have... Um, it connected correctly. So now what I'm going to do is take this and sit it back down in here. And again, like I was telling you, you got to get the, the little slots aligned here and make sure that this part is kind of slid in there. And now, like we did before, whenever we took the piece out, you got to snap these little nubs back down in there. And so, um, putting it back in is easier than taking it out. Um, I like to just press down with my hand. Just remember the smooth side faces up. So now that that's in there, now I'm going to press down and you'll hear a click. One click. And now I got to click the other side down. Two clicks. All right. So now the key mechanism is back where it needs to be. And so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, the actual button you press and clean it too on the back side. So I'm going to take a little IPA, rub it around where it makes contact. 
with the mechanism. And like I said before, the way you took it out, you'll put it back in. You have your uh, notches that are far apart here at the top, and then you have your little snaps on the bottom, and the snaps will be closest to you. So you'll just reassemble it the way you took it apart. So now, you'll put the top in first, that's towards the screen, and make sure that it sits in there flush, because you'll, you'll kind of feel it, get the feel of whenever it, it falls into place, right? So now that it's in there, now you're gonna lightly press on the back of the key and it'll snap in. And so don't, don't force it, just, you know, push down on it until you hear a click and just, okay, there's one click and then there's another click, two clicks. All right. So now the key's back in there. See, back to the way it was. Those are pretty easy. Um, those are less complicated. Uh, the, the ones that become difficult is the longer keys, like the shift key and the return key and the delete key. So I'm going to kind of show you how I take those apart because these actually have more parts in them. Um, and you have to be careful. Um, and the reason why there's more parts in them is so whenever you press the key, there's metal pieces around the edge here that give the key um, rigidity to uh, basically so whenever you press it over here, the whole key moves down and it does not, um, you know, bend, I guess, because it is made of plastic. <clears throat> so this one's uh, unique, um, but what you need to remember is the snaps on this key are also on the bottom of the key like towards you or facing towards the trackpad. They are along this portion here on the bottom, but you also have a little metal piece in here that runs around the perimeter and it's split in two pieces. So what, what I'm gonna show you is kind of how you're gonna separate that because those are actually snapped to this plastic piece as well. And you can't just pull it out the same way you did this one. So what you're gonna do is you're going to pry like we did the other one, reach down into the, between the key and the frame lightly and just pull up. And when you pull up, you're gonna hear a little bit of a click around there, which like you just did. And um, if you, it's hard to see, and I can't really de demonstrate it on the camera, but like I said, there's a metal bar that runs around the border of this key. And if you pull it up like this, you can kind of look to the crack and you can see the little metal bar in there. I don't know if you can see it, but when I take it apart, I'll, I'll show you. Or you'll be able to at least see the bar. So what you do after that is um, while you're prying up on it, you want to try to get that bar to release. And so what I do is when I pry up, I... Um, I stick a tweezer down in there and I push down on the metal bar. And then I work my way around the key. So you can hear that click. And you just pry up on it a little bit and you can get that bar. You want it to release. You'll hear it as you as you clicking it. The little snap releases, and you don't want to pry or you don't want to like force it. You definitely want to go easy on it. So you heard that click. Okay, so now we need to work on the bottom piece because there's two, two bars. So as you work around the key, you can kind of tell the key is uh, lifting a little bit now. 
and you work your way around the edge of the key don't press far in and uh, and you'll pry it here with your tweezers The idea is you want to kind of get the the key or the the pry tool between the uh, key here and the bar. Okay, so once you get the clips along the bottom of the shift key uh, popped up, and you have the metal bar clips released all the way around, then the key should come out pretty easy after that. So now, oh, there it goes. All right, there was one last clip. So now if you look, there's a ton of clips in here. There's a whole bunch of them. But like I said before, as long as you remember, the actual snaps that hold uh, the plastic to the mechanism is on the bottom side of the key towards the trackpad. And then you have all these bars here, which let me reorient it how it was. You can kind of see this bar. So the way that these kind of lay in here Okay, so if you look, this is how it normally sits. So if you see, you see this bar, you get this metal bar that runs around here and it meets in the middle and you got this other bar that runs around here. Those uh, bars actually snap into, um, if you look here on the key, it snaps in along the top side of of this plastic key around the parameter so you have to release those and then you have to release the snaps uh kind of towards the you know the bottom side of the shift key like i was saying to release it from um these little clips here in the middle so now um you have the key off you'll clean it like you do any other key this one has two mechanisms here but the button uh, is actually in the middle right there so this guy is actually the button but you have two mechanisms here and you have these bars that go around so now what you do is you'll snap these out just like you do this key um, the same way that you remove you know the mechanism the plastic mechanism from this key you do the same for this one and this one. You'll pop them out here, 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 and here. And then the top piece will come out and you'll clean these really good. Clean this one really good. Put them back in the same orientation where you have the smooth side facing up. And then snap it back down. And um, so this one you have to be patient with. If you're putting it back together, you have to get those metal bars um, aligned in here, and you need to get uh, you need to reinsert it the same way where you insert the top first and then you snap the bottom. So it's a little tricky, but it's kind of the same. You're putting it back together as the other key was. You get that down in there, and here I'll sit this down so you can I need both hands. You just got to kind of wiggle it a little bit to get it to kind of settle in place. Don't try to force it really hard. And so now, once I get it kind of where I want it, 
I'll start pressing down and you can kind of hear it click and that's actually that metal bar that's in there that's that's uh, snapping back onto the, the plastic key and you do that on the top to where it's fully down like that just like how we put the other key in there and then now you'll snap on the bottom side and you kind of hear it snapped in place and now the keys back in see back to the way it was so that's what's different about that uh, key uh, compared to like the single keys so you just you know have to pay close mind that there's a metal bar that runs around this one this is the shift key and uh, next we're going to take out the return key and you notice this key is quiet Just like the other keys, it doesn't make a loud click like this one. You can hear it, the difference. So the next thing we're going to do is take out the return key. This one also has the metal brackets like I was telling you about. So what we'll do is we'll pry the key up to where we can see the metal bracket okay and now I gotta I'll work down the metal bracket till it clicks there we go Okay, so now, as you can tell there, the key is pulled up. I'll pull the key out towards me, and there we go. All right, so this is different than the shift key, but it does have a metal bracket, as you can see, but it only has one. See here, there's only one metal bar here. So that's the difference from this one. This one had two, and this one has one. So, but the clip location is still the same. So you still gotta unclip the bar from the, the bottom of the actual key here. So you un unsnap the little metal bar and then you also unsnap these two pieces here which snap on right here and right here. And then you just pull the key out the same way towards um, the trackpad and yourself. So after that, now we need to release the little clip that holds the, the actual plastic mechanism in there, but just like the other ones. Oop. The little bar is just kind of loose, which is okay. It's fine if it's loose. Okay. Now once you have the plastic piece unclipped, you should be able to come out just like that. And so now we're going to clean it really well with some IPA. sure the entire surface has been wiped every single possibility has been wiped and um, also I like to kind of maneuver the little the little uh, pivot point there and clean it as well So once the plastic piece is cleaned, again, like I said before, I like to kind of get down in here and wipe the dimple a little bit. Oop. 
little metal brackets kind of catch onto the Q-tips. So now what I'm going to do is kind of get this back into position. Get that little metal bracket back into position. Uh, it sits, that little metal bracket kind of sits underneath those hooks, metal hooks on each end. You want to make sure it's seated back in there before you try to snap the key back on. So now, last thing I'm going to do is kind of wipe down this part oh, where it contacts. Just make sure there's nothing there. Orient the key the right way. Obviously, you can look at the text and see which way is the right way if you're not sure. And reinsert the key. Now, you want to make sure that um, when you're doing this that you have this metal bracket Oh, here, I'll show you this. So if you see here, this is a good demonstration. I can snap this metal bracket in there. You can kind of see how that bracket sits in here. And of course, you know, that sits just like this in there. And it, uh, this just gives it like, you know, I guess strength across the key. So I'm going to snap this back out. Put this back in here, just like that, and I need to align it properly. And now I need to put the actual mechanism back in here, the most important thing. Remember like I said, smooth side up, see that's the smooth side up right here, and this is the rough side, you can see it has so, remember like I was telling you about when this sits like this, you look at the slots, there's like, there's little slots in the top, you can kind of see them there. You'll align those with these little hooks in here. And once you get the little metal hooks into those slots, then you're going to get to the bottom of the key and you're going to snap it down on the left and on the right, just like that. And so now the mechanism is in there secured. Now is where I return the actual plastic key. So here you will um, insert it like putting the other ones where you push the top in first. And now I'm going to click the bottom okay and there we go now we have the return key and look it's quiet now see it's no, no longer <clears throat> really noisy we'll listen to a noisy key listen to this delete key you hear it and then the return key So there you have it. Uh, next key I'm going to do is the delete key and see how this one comes out. Okay, so when you pry it up towards the back, this one also has a, um, a metal bar, just like the others. So it seems like any of these long keys has a metal bar. So now I'm going to get in here and try to disconnect it. Bang. All right, key is out. So, key is good, nothing broke. Always check them to make sure that they're okay. 
because if they break and they no longer clip anymore then it doesn't do you any good but like I said before you can kind of see where the clips are the clips are these two inner ones and then the little hooks are these other ones that are further out and the key is oriented just like this so now that I have the key out I'm going to look at this one inside you can see that that also has a bar there a little metal bar and we got to take the mechanism out the same way as all the others so now I'm going to pop the mechanism up just like that and pull it out and clean it Remember to kind of swivel it around some in there. Get the alcohol into those little small cracks. Kind of let it dissolve anything that might be sticky. And kind of give it down a little wipe in here. Okay. All right. So now. I'm going to get this metal bar kind of back where it needs to be into its little slot. I'm going to get it all right, it's pretty close. And return this back to its place. Smooth side up, slots facing up. Put the hooks into, or the little metal brackets into the slots on the plastic piece. And then once you have it ready to go, snap down. Snap. Two snaps. Now the mechanism's back in there. Time to put the key back in. Now, you kind of get it where the hooks at the top of the plastic key are in place. And now I'm going to press down and snap everything in place. There it goes. All right, see? Delete key is now quiet. Just like the return. Just... All right, so um, another key you probably want to know about is maybe these arrow keys. These arrow keys have uh, clips on one end and hooks on the other. So what we'll do here is I'll demonstrate. So this right arrow key here, I'm going to put my, this tool here underneath the edge and kind of pry. Just like that. And see how it released. And now that it's popped up, I'm going to grab it and pull it. If I can. Some better tweezers. These are a little more difficult, uh, not not really hard. You just got to know how they unhook. So you kind of pry up on the edge and pull it back towards the center. And I know that's kind of different from the others, but these you watch. You'll pull up the end. I'll show you. Pull up the end and go towards. There you go. So this, these are a little bit different. So like what you want to do is the arrow key is pointing to the right, as you can see. And on the back side, you have a, you have the clips and on the left side, you have these hooks and these hooks kind of, you have to like get the butterfly key to come up here. I'll show you like that 
you have to kind of get that pried up that way and then you got to get the key to slip over them It can be a little bit of a pain to get going, but once you once you get it on there, you'll know when it's in place. All right, so that's in place now. Now I'm gonna snap it, and once I snap it in place, it's done. So just remember um, when you're working on these. Here, the little clips are on the right side and the hooks on the left do not pry from that side um, because you can break the um, hooks in here. If you break the hooks there, then the key may not be secure anymore and it may try to pop off or something like that, but that's how you take those off. So anyways, um, now let's uh, try to take apart the, I guess, the biggest key, which is the spacebar key. Um, that one is a very large key. So let's see what we have under here. So we do have a bar, just like the rest. that we need to unhook the bar from the classic key. So what you'll do is you'll get between the, um, the plastic piece and the bar and pry up. And lightly pry and let it pop off. Don't force it. And so this bottom side is undone. Now let's look at the top. Let's see if there's another bar. I have a feeling there's going to be another bar along the top because this one's so long, just like the shift key. And there is. So now I'm going to get my pry tool between the bar and the shift key and, and snap it. You, hear it. you can hear it on clicking. Don't force it, just lightly. Okay, so now it's unsnapped. Okay, so now I gotta release the middle clips from the actual key itself, the plastic part of the key. Okay, so now I'm gonna pry these. Now that I have removed the bar, I'm going to rotate and pry. Okay, there's one side. And there's the other. Okay. Now the space key is off. So here's the space key right here. Think. And there's a little metal bracket in here, I guess that's just to add strength to it. But if you look here, there's two clips here, two clips over here, and then you have your hooks along the top edge, and the key is oriented like this in the slot. So if we come over here and look, you can see that there is a big bar, metal bar, that runs along it. 
on the top and the bottom and you have a uh, mechanism over here and a mechanism over here and the actual button is right there so the cleaning portion is the same I'm not going to do it on this one just showing you how to get the key off you'll take this mechanism out that mechanism out uh, clean it with isopropyl alcohol the same way as the other keys and you will reassemble and uh, the space bar should be good so now I'm gonna put it back so I'm gonna make sure the key is oriented right so I need the the hooks along the top and the snaps along the bottom so what I'll do is I'll insert it like we do for all the other keys and I will press down lots of snaps All right, space bar is back in there, good as new, and that's pretty much it. Um, that's how you clean a M1 MacBook Air uh, keyboard um, if you have sticky keys. And uh, like and subscribe, let me know if this helps you or, you know, because um, these these things can be pretty delicate sometimes, uh, and you know, you can't just go in there prying prying and uh, however you want because you can definitely break the keys and you'll have, you know be uh, trying to track down a new key a uh, new plastic key or or even a mechanism or something that's you know broken mechanically in the key so anyways have a good day